Hey guys, I'm fresh from Singapore's GoforCon and I learned a couple of things I'm going to quickly share with you. So, I've been working with Database, see my previous video, but check this out. Some things I didn't know. So, you can um, run a command with the MySQL uh, client here, typing it all in with, I guess, a read line uh, user interface, like this. But did you know you can go slash E and enter, and then now you can um, have an input based on your editor, which is Vim in my case, um, which I think is quite cool. The next cool tip I thought was that um, slash G gives a different um, formatting of the um, of the. Uh, of the table here that I'm just describing, so 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 basically this this is kind of a little bit better if you're working like I do with grep or something. You can do something like like uh, you know echo into the MySQL command and then and then grep the field that you're interested in, and then you can copy and paste this into your Go code. And then, you know the other day I actually wrote this out by hand, but if I could just copy and paste it, that would have saved me some time. So there's a couple of tips. I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> um, but back uh, to GopherCon, I must say I enjoyed it. Um, I was, to be honest, kind of starstruck by Ross Cox. I hope I didn't come across as a bumbling fool to him. <laughs> but um, I, th I think we kind of, well, I need to make a video about Plan 9, but I was astonished actually that he uses Acme as his main editor. Um, and it, it looks familiar to, to the way I use editors. Like for me, I use Vim and lots of Windows. And yeah, the, the Windows are tiling and they can be stacked, I guess. And Acme all does that too. So yeah. And also, I, it's difficult to explain, but Acme um, allows you to sort of attach it to a it's like attaching your Vim, Vim to MySQL, like I just showed you. With Acme, you can attach it to to some sort of uh, sort of text-based process, and you can like edit fields, and then use that use your editor as a user interface to um, a, a page of text. It's difficult to explain, but anyway, I mean, Ross Cox is famous for a lot of things. I mean, he wrote. He basically formulized regular expression stuff, if I remember correctly. Um, I really enjoyed Hannah Kim. She had a couple of, yeah, she went. Uh, she was um, debugging uh, GoLang programs like I've never seen before. Um, great to see st another a fellow South African in a, in a top job. <laughs> I really love William Kennedy's um, enthusiasm and passion, and he gave a talk all about you know, less code, a big philosophy I believe in, you know, less code, I mean, I don't like to touch code base, big code bases, and I mean, who does, but William Kennedy gave a, uh, or Bill, gave a really compelling talk, I ho hopefully this can all be linked at a later stage, um, but not, last but not least, but I, I did have to, to leave early, but I was bowled over by Katrina Owen, uh, and yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic slides, and a way of explaining how to how she went about refactoring code. It, really astonishing. <clears throat> and to give her credit, she taught me those two <laughs> my school tricks. So thanks, Katrina. I'll link to your other video about learning Go. Um, if you haven't learned Go, guys, yet, yeah, it's really. Um, Hopefully, ask me questions. I'm pretty into media, I think. But um, I'm, ha you know, I'm happy to help. I think Go is is really valuable, valuable uh, skill for me, and hopefully for you too. So there you have it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like the video, and uh, see you next time. Bye.